last question I forgot, so it's going to be its own little video. How to cut weight without losing strength. Well, that, that, one's, uh, <laughs> that one's a little difficult. But the best way I know is to really just load up on water and you're going to do a water cut. So you're going to drink probably a couple gallons, up to two, maybe even a little more than two gallons for at least three days before the meet. And then you're going to just cut out your water the day before and when you weigh in, especially if you're a two-hour weigh-in, and then you're going to have to drink the Pedialyte, the Gatorade, and all this other stuff. Now, if you're a 24-hour weigh-in, and depending on your Federation's rules, you can use diuretics, you can pull out water, and, and this and that. And, but the thing is, with, with when you start pulling out that much water, you're, you're, you're never going to snap back fully. It's just not going to happen. Uh, and depending on how much water you pull out. I don't recommend pulling out more than, let's say, five pounds of water, uh, especially for a two-hour weigh-in. Um, if, you're, if you're taking off five pounds of water and you're weighing in for a two-hour weigh-in and you're like one of the first people on the flight, you got no time. It's just you're not going to replenish that. You're not going to be your best. And you're going to have to drop your openers and all this other crap. But, again, if you have a 24-hour weigh-in, uh, I've seen guys use, um, they get, like, nurses and stuff, and they get IVs put in, and they replenish. Some of these guys drop, like, 20 pounds, uh, which is pretty insane, maybe even more sometimes. Um, but, yeah, probably the best way, to put it plainly and very simply, the best way to drop weight and not lose strength is to do it over a long period of time. Just get down to around the weight that you're supposed to be at for your competition. And if you have to lose one or two pounds, that's not hard to do at all. And that's not going to hurt your strength, really. Uh, but just train at the at around, at least around the weight you're supposed to compete at. And, uh, you know, you can go into a meet eating breakfast and just feeling fine and not have to worry about nothing. So... I would definitely do that. Hope that helped.